Done. Hey guys! Yeah. I'm Lori Gaw. Welcome back to Life Above the Clouds. Today, I have my friend Damien here. What's up, y'all? What's up? Guys, Damien has his own YouTube channel. I've actually linked it in the description section below. It's No Stress MS. Because I has multiple sclerosis. He does. And he does, how, how often do you post a video? Once a week. Every Once Wednesday. a week. Every Wednesday. Weekly videos about his experience. And he has just begun his journey with cannabis. Is that true? I mean, we could say that. Yeah. We could say if going from a um, recreational thing mm -hmm. to a like, wait, this thing makes my knees feel better and my balance uh, more steady How and my that? mood. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And also, I know we already washed our hands, but today we have two puppies. That's right. So you guys know Brazos, he's sniffing around, but Damon also brought his doggy. Come this here, is Cooper. Cooper. Hey, Cooper. Isn't he the cutest? Hey buddy, there you yeah, go. Yeah, look at the doggy. There you look go. Look at all the cuties. Hi, can I have a kiss? Kiss, remember? Remember? Nah, he's like, nah, no, I'm good. No kisses, no, I'm no good. kisses. Brazos loves to <laughs> kiss. <laughs> no, I, I guess he's in the habit because I don't do this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, Mr. Sandman, Sandman, Sandman says, "What are we cooking up today?" Well, that what a great transition. <laughs> today, Thank you, sir. right? We are cooking one of Damien's favorite recipes that he's been experimenting with: his cannabis butter or coconut oil. We are making coconut flour chocolate chip cookies. And hold on, CBC Voter says, great show, canvas food. Thanks, guys. Claydonius S. I was expecting a goth person named Damien, a la South Park. <laughs> I mean, there's a whole lot in that joke, my guy. But <laughs> believe that the spelling changes everything. One, two, and mine yeah. is a little bit more. It's Greek, and it means to tame. Oh. Like, I will tame yourself. Whoa. You understand what oh I'm saying? Oh my god, watch out. Yeah, watch out, son. <laughs> We're already having too much fun. I'm just silly, excuse me. Right? So, Damien's already tried this recipe. Yes, it's one of his favorite recipes that he sent to me. And uh, this is actually the first time I've ever experimented with coconut flour. Ooh. I, I made almond flour cupcakes once and it did not go well. I don't really experiment with the gluten-free baking. Mm -hmm. So I don't know a lot. And, you know, you can't really substitute the flour one-to-one -one and nope. all this stuff. So you can't just take a regular recipe and make it gluten-free all of a sudden. But this is a designed to be made with coconut flour. And um, I don't know for sure, but is this technically like paleo or keto? That's a great question of which I do not know the answer to. I don't know, because we are adding chocolate chips, which I believe probably aren't paleo <laughs> or keto. Yeah. But there's honey as a sweetener, and then there's the, we'll just run down the ingredients for you right now, guys. Boom. We have half a cup of coconut flour. Boom. We have uh, what's in here? A quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. You can't see. I don't want to. I don't want to tip it over. But it's in there. It's in there, right? I like to measure all my stuff out in pretty little bowls. Right. How we're ready? How efficient? We're so ready. How forward thinking? Thank you. Okay. This was melted. She's awesome. Stop. She's awesome. Oh, stop. A cam, B cam. Oh, stop. She's awesome. <laughs> uh, we have a quarter cup total of melted coconut oil that I have put one tablespoon of cannabis coconut oil and three tablespoons of regular coconut oil. This Ooh. recipe is going to yield 12 cookies and you guys know that I like to do one tablespoon of coconut, cannabis coconut oil or cannabis butter to 12 servings. Um, but if you Whoa. want stronger ones or weaker ones, then you have to adjust the amount accordingly. Wow. I personally like mine to be on the weaker side. Because, you know, we're gonna eat these cookies. You can always Look, stack I already made layers. a batch. Right, exactly. <laughs> Surprise! <Yeah. laughs> um, these end up being pretty, you know, small cookies. And, you know, you're gonna wanna eat more than one of these little guys, probably. And so you never wanna overdo it. I mean, I never dilute my jam like, like she does uh, very wisely. So, oh, like you're just putting straight a quarter cup I just, of full. Bro, I just go for it. Wow. So, I really should only eat one of those. And when I yeah. say I should, 
It's like, oh, if I eat this at 10 a.m., then by, I'm still going to be like figuring this out at right? 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Mm. That the, is the difference when you're eating cannabis versus smoking it is that it'll stay in your system longer. So it can be in there all, all day long. All you're, processing you're a lot of and it. working and yeah, right? cannabising and all and that. Cannabising. Many we ING's. We also have a quarter cup of honey in here. How is it going to be sweet? I know. A quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, mm -hmm. two eggs, and a third a cup of chocolate chips, which are totally optional, but in my opinion, they're totally not optional. There should always be chocolate chips in everything. See, this is why she's a better person than me. Like, I always admit omit the uh, chocolate chips. <gasps> why? Because, I don't know. Because you know? they're like not technically good for you. And I guess if, <laughs> if you didn't have them, these are, you know, on the, the healthier side of desserts. Trust me, it works without the chips. I'm sure they're going to be much more delicious with the chips. So thank you, Laura. Uh, so I forgot, but I'm going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees, and Damon's going to entertain you while I step away. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Why? Thank you. Do that. No, for for me as someone with multiple sclerosis and a wide uh, ar array of symptoms, um, for me it helps my vision to be more steady. Um, the spasticity in my knees. I'm so bad that you're having to squat because he's so tall. Because he's tiny. Sure. But are you comfortable? I'm fine. That's okay. Fine. I'm fine. Uh, for me, it helps the spasticity you know, my in, in, in my knees. <laughs> it helps my balance. Um, it definitely helps my mood because mm -hmm. I don't have my brain isn't actively being eaten or I don't feel it as much. Mm -hmm. So it's re it helps sort of take the edge off is the wrong thing, but okay. it sort of removes some of the weight that comes w with disease. That's incredible because I know that there's a lot of back and forth on should cannabis be legal everywhere and it's still not legally legal to use medicinally everywhere. Um, I, it's about like 13, state, 14 yeah, states state, where um, it's like recreational, like about that same amount where it's medicinal. Right. There's more places where it's legal for medicinal purposes, right. less places for recreational purposes. But hearing firsthand how it helps you, why can't it be legal, at least medicinally? Well, you know? put it like this. We know as with many, um, a few um strong laws in mm -hmm. in our uh, home um they are they have their roots in racism so yeah. um that's i know how strong that is as being someone who is people are racist against me from time to time so i'm um my awareness of it is heightened uh -huh. and because of that the legality of all of this is is one of these things where i'm like all right I see how they did it, but you guys are throwing out the baby with the bathwater for for what it's worth. Um, this can actually help you, and you'll yeah. figure that out in another 30, 40 years. But by then, your racist self will make it illegal for everybody. Times are changing. Oh, Claydonius li lives in a prohibition state. There you go. Case. I'm trying to hang out with you, Claydonius. Claydonius. We oh, live wait, in California. No. no. In, where where do you live, Claydonius? Yeah, let me know. Um, we live in California where it is legal medicinally and recreationally. Uh, sometimes I forget because people will comment like, is this even legal? And yes, it is legal it, where It's legal are. where I am. Maybe so not legal totally where you are. for us to be making these cookies. Um, so should we just start? No, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So Mix it we up. are going to, these are going to make, this recipe is going to make 12 cookies. So if you wanted to make more cookies, you can also double or even triple the amount of ingredients we have here. But right now, mm. I am going to start with a, this is a pretty small mixing bowl. We're gonna whisk. No, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to even up the frame long off, cause I don't want to be like this. So I feel so bad that I'm so No, short. I just you don't want to be like this. You can step backwards. Oh yeah, duh, perspective. Right, perspective. Yo, how about I See, do look this? Look at that. Look at that, so. Look, we're like the same height. <laughs> I'm glad I got that figured out. You know what I'm saying? So great. I'm going to just be back here. Okay. Well, we are going to start by listing together our dry ingredients. We have our coconut flour and we have our salt and our baking soda. And I like to whisk these ingredients together so that way you make sure there's no big lumps. Uh, you can also break up those big lumps with your hands, but you want it to be well combined so that way when we mix it with the other ingredients, it's going to mix evenly. 
Yeah. The best part about all of this is that she's doing things that, that are one, not in the recipe, yeah. but two, come come knowing only after baking and cooking many more hours than some uh, someone like me um, yeah. has done. Well, I'm glad that I'm teaching you some cool tricks. You put me on, girl. See, that's why I hang out with her. That's why I hang out with you, too. I mean, technically, you don't have to. It's just a little extra step that yeah, but you, want you probably can't even taste in the end. But you want to smooth. But you do. And every once in a while, when I've been in a hurry and I've tried to make cookies and I don't, baking soda tends to clump a lot. And if you don't break up those pieces, you're ah. going to end up, you really like, get a cookie with one stray piece of chunk of baking soda. And that's gross. <laughs> What is Claydonius lives in Indiana, a state that is surrounded on three sides by legal slash semi-legal states. I do think that we are on our way to medical, if not full legalization, fingers crossed. I mean, it's true. It is slowly changing throughout the United States, which is awesome. Which is great. And you in Indiana, buddy. So I hope I really do hope this works out for you, my guy. <laughs> Where are you from? New York, Harlem. New York, I'm Harlem. I'm from Harlem, the, the heart of uh, New York City. Yeah. So, I'm a guy who was, well, was I in Indiana or was it? I've never been to Indiana. Never, never mind. Hi, Baba. I'm not going to speculate yeah, to where I was, speak. but I was near where you are, sir. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, oh, yeah, you know you're going to need some, you're going to need some cannabis um, cookies or nice. something. Well, on that note, this hey, this is not fully melted anymore. When you bake with coconut oil, whether it's cannabis or not, you always want to melt it because it stays solid at room temperature and it won't mix into your batter if it's not nope. melted. Nope. But you can oh, you can smell it in there. Yeah, that smells good. That smells good. Yeah, no, that smells really good. So I am going to add this to another bowl, a mm. little bit larger. Mm. Jerry Devlin is in the house. What Hi. up, Jay? What up, Jay? JD in the place to be. <laughs> Holler at your boy. So we've got our coconut oil. We have our honey. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put it in here. It helps it um, make it more tasty. Yes. This is, this is your sweetener here. So you want it to taste good. You a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. Well, a little bit of honey makes this cookie smooth. Mm. And we also have a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. A little vanilla -y. Okay. Mix that up. Mm. How about you continue mixing and I'm yeah, going to no. crack in our two eggs. This is great to have to watch someone else do this because it's usually me. I know. you. I should make you do it. You should <laughs> be teaching me how to do it. But it's usually me sort of like, this. is this right? <laughs> it's right. If people get so stressed out about cooking and it being right, and you know what? It's just cooking, guys. It's not rocket science. Whoa. Right? It's right. That's true. No, I mean. I mean, in the end, if you mess it up, you just have whack messed up food. Right? And in the end, it usually still tastes good. It just looks weird. It's still palatable, but it's kind of ugly. Right? So I am going to, you're going to continue. Mixing. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do this. Keep on mixing. And oh, I'm gonna oh, okay. add in our dry ingredients okay. into our wet ingredients. Okay. And we're gonna oh, mix oh, all oh. that up. Okay. I already spilled some flour. Don't love. spill the, everywhere. The, the dogs are like, what are you doing? Have you, haven't you done this before? Haven't you done this before? <laughs> Bruh. We got, we got this do. everywhere. Wow, I feel like a like a morning show, like we're cooking and we stuff. We are. Right this now. is what it is. Except you know what it's not morning, it's afternoon. It's the we afternoon. Have to sleep in. Mm, right? I had to go to the, some auditions and stuff. That's good. So, yes, I know Damien from acting class a very, very long time ago. Like how many years ago? Uh, you know, at least five years ago. At least five, <laughs> at least. Uh, I want to say like 2014. Maybe. Mm. So anyway, LG is cool people. It's cool hey, enough hey, to hey, like, hey, you don't need to like that. You don't need that. All right, so we have our batter pretty yeah. much mixed in. So I'm going to pour in our chocolate chips and we're going to yep. mix those in. Yep. Mm. And I have already have my baking sheet here lined with my silicone baking mat. You can also use parchment paper. I love these guys because they're reusable and I'm trying oh, to cut back on my what? weight. Yeah, I'm Duh. trying to use less I always less use parchment paper, paper yeah. so now I'm going to use that because that's awesome. Right? I just got these at Costco. You can buy them on Amazon. You can buy them everywhere now. They're pretty common, I think. Mm. So this is looking good. Let me show, let me show the people at home. 
We'll see what this looks like, right? I did my job today, people. Yeah. And with with coconut flour, at first when you start mixing the batter, uh, it can look a little bit wet, but the coconut flour absorbs a lot of moisture, so you just give it like, not even just like 30 seconds, and yeah. it'll it'll really thicken up. Yep. That was the sound of the flour thickening. Right there. <laughs> That's like what Italian people do, like, mm, I don't know. Manja! Yeah, no, you get this thing soaking and manja. Right? Baby. So we are going to just scoop our cookies. Guys, we're almost done. This is like the fastest, easiest recipe ever. I know. Why do you think ever, I ever, ever. love it? Now, what do, do you just love chocolate chip cookies? Like, have you ever tried to make brownies or anything, anything else? I just like things simple slash simple what is the quickest delivery method? And the lowest bar for cookies like are it. chocolate chip cookies. Well, you know, a good chocolate chip cookie can really make your day. I mean, I mean, a bad chocolate chip cookie is still good. It's still a chocolate <laughs> cookie. But it's, like, I've had some really good cookies. You know, just because it's chocolate chip, doesn't, you know. All I know is that as I was trying to figure this thing out, um, I'm like, give me something, give me a non-gluten cookie. Yeah. And then this popped up. So yeah. I was like, well, I've never done this, but first time for everything. Right, and I actually, because I never made this recipe, never cooked with coconut flour, that is why I did make a batch already because I wanted to make sure that I could do it and that it would turn out okay, so. We already made a batch, but on the yes, it turns out okay. It turns out okay, guys, so I must say. <laughs> well, I am using my cookie scoop. This is one and a half tablespoons. The best idea. I the do best not use idea. a table, um, uh, ice cream scoop. Right. So you are like uh, continuing to up I mean, your chef game. You don't need to. You can make them by hand, form them with spoons, but especially when you're cooking with cannabis, I think it's really important to make sure that all of your serving sizes end up being the same size. You know? I don't even have any words to say to that, just this. So I am going to start scooping. <laughs> Do you want to scoop and I'll shape or the other way around? How about I scoop and you, you shape? Okay. Because I want to see your technique. All right. So what happens is that these cookies aren't going to spread in the oven like normal cookies will. So we have to sh shape them into cookie shape. We have to shape them into cookie shape. That sounds boring. Which, which basically just means flattening them instead of having a round ball. Unless you Whoa. want to eat round cookie balls. You could eat a round cookie ball. But I'm just going to flatten it with my fingers is what? all. Is that mm. how you do it? How do you do it? I just get a spoon. And I'm like, Freep. and then I guess I mold it on, well, on the pan. Yeah, you can put it on the sheet and just flatten it with your finger here. But that is much more smooth and elegant in G status. So respect, G. Mm -hmm. Scoop! Oh, you're scooping! I'm, I'm over here giving accolades. So, oh, I don't you even know how work. work. So, so you just do this. scoop it like a spoon and then I Hold smush on. it against the side. Here, I'll show you. Yeah. So, I just scoop it and I smush it against the side of the bowl to kind of flatten it out. Oh. And then you just squeeze oh, and it'll pop out. I'm trying to hang out with her. Yeah. She got all the technique going there down there. Yeah. Man. Easy peasy. See, cooking and baking does not have to be difficult. It doesn't, and that's kind of why Hello? I, I. Oh, Lord Jesus, I'm just talking. I and know. I gotta smash it up against the ball. Work. You gotta yeah. work to be here. It's true. And then I do and that. You just oh, it out. What, dude? You that magic. That's awesome. See? You know, I gotta get some ice cream scoop. I love them. I love them. I have a bigger oh, one that I use for cupcakes. Wait, just a cupcake ice cream scoop? Yeah, it's just bigger size, so that way you I scoop the batter or the with the scoop. What am I trying to say? I use the scoop to scoop the batter into the cupcake cups, so they're yeah. all the same size. Well, this is me getting an ice cream that. scoop. Yeah. Because as much as I you know do this baking, my cookies do not look like Lauren's cookies. <laughs> Lauren's cookies look like they could go out on a go see. <laughs> Be a model. A go, a go see is an audition for model, if you guys don't. Oh, sorry. Hello. Hello. Oh, Jesus. I'm spacing. This guy just likes to talk, and he doesn't want to do the work. It's true. If you're not going to do the work, and you don't get to eat the cookies. Well, if I don't want to do the work, then why come on the show? Exactly. What's, what's wrong with me? Yeah. Okay. I know. I feel like a lot of, I have a lot of friends that are like, oh, I just want to come and eat your food. And I'm like, mm. nah, bro. You're, 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 you're doing this. 
You're gonna work. This ain't fun. I mean, it's it fun. Is fun. No, it's fun. Trust me. But I think cooking is fun. I'm here to do a thing. So right? please do the thing. Please do the thing. Can you do the thing, bro? Yeah, the thing that you were invited to do. Right. This is the thing we're doing, bro. This, yo, I'm totally gonna get one of these. Aren't this they great? It's life changing, awesome. right? What? Life changing. My life has already changed, <laughs> and it's not even my house. I'm putting this here on. Yeah, ooh, ooh. you got it, you got it. Yo, look what you done did, LG. You done changed the game. Yeah. You done changed the game. This is such good team. Oh, man, my, here. my cookies are going to be beautiful now. Right? Right now, they are just cookies. And, like, they work, but trust me. As long me, as they taste good, right? Right, that's what I'm saying. They work, they taste good, they're effective. So, that's one thing. But this, I want me some pretty cookies. All right. We actually have a little bit of extra. Mm. I'm at least going to take the chocolate chip. I'm there you go. just going to disperse it. So we do have like a tiny, tiny little bit left over of our dough. So because I don't like to waste anything, I'm just like going to I'm just gonna scrape it out of here. Waste not, won't not, baby. I'm just going to add it to the cookies. Look, I need to get me a silicone bacon mat mm -hmm. and an ice cream scoop. Step my game up. Step my baking game, game up. We're not messing around here. Of course. Look, people, I don't hang with no slackers or ugly mm. people. <laughs> Lauren is not That's a slacker. That's rude. You don't hang with ugly people? Nah, I don't hang with no ugly people. I got to look at them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so shallow. Well, maybe. Bottom line is... <laughs> I don't hang with no slackers. You yeah, to, yeah. It's it's slackers first. Like you could you could be ugly, but if you're not a slacker, then I can hang with you. Okay. And if you you know are super effective and not a slacker, but you ugly, I hang out with you. Okay, I'm gonna go sh wash my hands really quick so I can okay. grab the camera and show you guys what these look like. Mm. And they look good too. They're not even big, and I want some. <laughs> the dog is following up. My tall self is trying to figure out this frame, baby. You guys just, just step back. Who, who are you in here? Oh no, you live in Indiana. Like, oh, what somebody said? What's up? Oh, hey, uh, Jerry Devlin said, what's up? Yeah, Jerry Devlin. Yo, what up, G? What up, dog? I mean, you know, she's over there washing her hands, taking care of those hygienic things, making sure that you know everything that's here stays here. Right? Do you want to just like tilt up? Oh no, what happened? We're not recording here? What? Uh oh. Oh boy. Well, well, well we're going to have to. What's happening here? Well, oh snap. We were in camera mode and not video mode. Sweet. Well, Sweet. Well, anyway, look at some. We'll figure something out. I got some cookies. Got Wait, some cookies. I'm, you have to keep holding it. Oh, up. there we go. Look, I have to make sure I do the cooking thing. Like, don't move them too much. I gotta hold the This is a thing. close up. This is a close up. This, this is why only so many people want to do this, Lauren. Right? Here we go. <laughs> look. Look. So you guys can see what these look yep. like. Don't these look so yep. good? No, they're going to be awesome. All right. We're going to pop these in the oven for about 12 minutes. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're coming back. Here Put that back over there. Yup. Bomb. Pop it down. Pop it down. Done. All right, boom. So now we got this here on camera. All right, so I am going to go put these in my preheated ovens at 350 degrees for 12 to 14 minutes until the edges are golden brown. Just like Lauren's guest. And now oh. we're just hanging out. Now I'm just hanging out, man. Making sure I don't fall over. Grab a chair. We can sit. Oh, yeah. Watch out, Coop. Watch out, buddy. Hey, shout out to all the folks out there. Uh, in the above the clouds community, shout out to all the people that I need that, to bring this down. That show up slash uh, or in the chat slash comment because oh not only is all of this important and um, it, 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 one of these Here sort of frankly go. necessary things, um, Lauren is uh, charismatic oh, and uh, focused. Sorry, we're moving around so much, and guys. Fun. I'm complimenting you. I'm trying to I'm trying to reframe now that we're sitting. It's true. This, no, this looks crazy. I mean, no, I mean we still Yeah, you want some less headroom, I guess. It's there hard to it's hard to do it while it's you, connected, Oh yeah, while you, you don't know? even see. See, she's doing all of this right now. We'll yeah, see. And you come back now. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'm just hanging yeah. out because I'm happy to How's be. How's that? How's that? No, that works. That better? That Closer? Works. Closer? Yeah, no, 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 that works. That works because yeah. we still, you, you come in and see the friend. See, I gotta get another chair. Oh, I gotta get you a chair. See, yeah, where, where are my manners? Where are my manners? <laughs> Jerry says these cookies look good. Thanks, Jerry. Bro, they're delicious. We're just gonna hang out for, for a few minutes and, yeah. and chit chat. 12 to 13 minutes? We can talk about, I don't know what I'm gonna do, guys. So, usually what I do is that I record this stream on a separate camera so that I can edit it down to just the instructions and post it in a separate video on my channel. Mm -hmm. But silly old me had the camera set to picture mode and not video mode. So, we didn't get any video of what happened. These beforehand. things happen. These things happen. So. I don't know what but, I'm gonna do. Yeah, you do because this will be all uploaded to YouTube and then you right. can download the file. Yeah, then, I hate doing that because then the quality's really bad. Yeah, it's true. It does shave off a, mm -hmm. a few awesomenesses off the, yeah, off the quality. Yeah, so maybe I'll just make these again and we'll, and I'll, I don't know what we're gonna do. Right, maybe I'll oh, come back. Russell I'll still Durant eat is here. Am I too late? No, Russell. No, you Russ are not too late. We have not eaten any cookies. Nope. We have made them though. Uh, we have already made our dough for our coconut flour chocolate chip cookies and they are in the oven i forgot to set the timer well that timer for 11 minutes there you go yeah. i'm like hit the lower end of the Your spectrum yeah i'll go check on him look at you didn't even have to say hey siri to wake her up no i held down the home button look at this this is why i hang out with this person Always telling me some new stuff. <laughs> you didn't know you could do that? That's how you talk to Siri is if you hold down the home button. So I always am like, when I'm futzing with it, like, oh, why is okay, why are you Siri. listening to me, Siri? Yeah, right? Siri I'm, is always... Clearly, I'm just a person who um, uh, lives in the moment. Let's just say that. And so, for me, I'm just like, uh, I'm living in the moment. Hey, Siri, remind me to do something. And then well, we will. also, in this house, we have Google, so you can say, hey, Google, and, and it'll hear you. No, you say, okay, Google. Oh, you're right. Okay, Google. <laughs> you're right. I think if you say, hey, Google, it'll hear you. Oh, really? I don't know. Hold on. Where is it? Hold on. Ready? Yeah. Hey, Google, what's the weather today? Yeah, okay. Oh, you got the little jam. Okay. See, it heard me. Hey, Google works. Ooh. <sighs> I, got to Google I think that what I think this? that I'm supposed to tell people when they come into this house that Google is listening. No, you're not. Don't even worry. <laughs> that's like that's for them in their own brain. You, if you want to know like when the Republic of Canada was made in the Western ter Territory, what year that was, Whoa. Google will tell you. So you don't need to say to guests that you have um a smart speaker that's always listening to you this is your home <laughs> our our conversations are being recorded yeah the google home is here and everything that's google. happening right now cooper's hanging brad yeah. just went somewhere else well he lives here so he's yeah. like oh you're doing this again i thought that they might play a little bit but they're just whatever they're just like yeah um, that's cool. russell durant wants to know what kind of cookies we baked we are baking coconut flour chocolate chip cookies. They are gluten-free. They also have no refined sugar. They are sweetened with honey. Uh, they do have chocolate chips. But, guys, correct us if we're wrong. I am not 100% sure. What are the guidelines for eating keto or paleo? Because I think that these might be keto and or paleo. Whoa. Because it has coconut flour. Yeah. Because I know you can't have like regular flour. Mm. Russell Durant oh. thinks that I sound stoned. You are so stoned. I'm not. No. Thanks. No. Thanks a lot. That kind of hurts my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how you sound, Lauren. That's how I sound. You sound like you just smoked a fat jay. Yeah. So. Like, what does that mean? That I sound stupid? Yeah. Like, what's going on? Is it Russ? Russell? Russell, Russell Durant. Hey, yo, Russ, who you hanging out with, man? Shoot, I want to hang out with them. Because even at their most resonated, as we'll say, they sound as clear and lucid as Lauren Gall. So it sounds like you hanging out with some cool people. That's why I want to hang out with you. Mm. Yeah, Russell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to hang out with you. Yeah. I said it twice. Right. Because I meant it. But we do have our cookies in the oven for about seven more minutes. Okay. Uh, this is actually a recipe that Damien likes to use. And so we're 
doing it? Because I have multiple sclerosis, a lot of th dietary things have shifted because mm -hmm. uh, inflammation. So no gluten. No gluten, no, no sugar, sugar, no dairy. No dairy. Step one, no gluten, no sugar, no dairy. These cookies don't have gluten or sugar or dairy. So we I, eat lots of vegetables, lots of fruits. A bunch to be of honest, things. that's probably how all of us should be eating. Allegedly. Like in, <laughs> in most of the animal kingdom, if I should say all of it, the animals eat the food that's available to them. Mm -hmm. They don't bring the food home and, mm -hmm. and prepare it and cook it up and plate it. Like, no, they just eat it. Yeah. So if you have to do too much stuff to your food, you probably shouldn't eat that food. Right. You know what I'm saying? So this, these are one of the things that um, one has to do a lot, but they're all composed of things that you don't have to do a lot to them. Right. So that's fine. Mm -hmm. you, you know, so that's kind of where my no gluten, no sugar, no dairy thing comes from. Because, you know, I love chicken. Everybody loves chicken. It's tasty. But if you was to punch a chicken in the face and then make them pass out and then you say, OK, let me eat that chicken. You would not want to eat that chicken. There's like feathers and yeah. blood. So you don't eat meat either. Most of the time, no, I try not to. If I'm going to eat meat, it's not going to be bigger than the palm of my hand. That's good. That is supposed to be the servant, like uh, six ounces. Yeah. I mean, your hand is obviously bigger than mine. But they say that <laughs> six ounces is the serving size for, for meat. But most people are eating like a pound. Put it like this. <laughs> We have all these miles. Well, Russell Durant is too far from us to hang out, and he says that we don't sound stupid. Thank you. <laughs> you don't sound stupid. You just sound stoned. Right. <laughs> but I'm not, not saying that stone people, all stone people, sound stupid either, guys. Don't get me wrong. No, not at all. The, like the when we were in college, we used to call being stone the land of ever. So of ever. you're like, oh my god, these are the best cookies ever. Or, oh, this was the most fun trip ever! Uh -huh. So, uh, baking things like this, you're going toward the land of ever. ever. I like it. <laughs> I'm not sure why I brought that up. I forget. And I haven't even had a cookie yet. So, I know. There, you know what I was just thinking? What? Because we should have just made another batch of cookies and recorded it on the camera since we have the time while it's baking. Uh, but it's fine, whatever. No, you're good. Yeah, you're good. You, you, it out. you still Gucci, as the young people say. I'm still Gucci. Yeah, that's what the chip, the children say. Right. Like I can't even say the word children, but children? the children. That's what the that's what the young people say. Yeah. We could eat these cookies if we wanted to, guys. I mean, I've so I already made a test batch. Just to make sure. Just to make sure that these turned out okay, because I've never baked with coconut flour before. Do you want to make they're, sure? And they're like beautiful and perfect. Do you want to make sure before she goes live what that is... you know the cookies are going to actually be cookies and hold it together and uh, all that Russell stuff. Durant says, "So is this your man, Lauren, or just homies? We're just homies." Not this my homie. This is my uh, man back yeah, right we here. Yeah, we are. Son. We've been homies for I think we decided like six years. Yeah. No. 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 You're right. Going... My Derek, my boyfriend has appeared in some of the videos oh really but, so yeah. you got him on cam yeah i've got him on camera okay. i keep asking him if he wants to do a video but he has to work this is also kind of limiting that i usually the people that i have as guests on the channel are all actors because who else can take the time off on the in the middle of a friday to bathe Bruh, with me, it right? is 3 12 p.m yeah. on a friday who do you know yeah. who is uh, regularly employed, who punches in and punches out, can go to your friends' house yeah. in the valley at 3 p.m.? Which is kind of limiting because then I do have friends that have regular 9 to 5 jobs that can't come and be on the show. What, you know, or you got to do it Russell on a weekend. Russell Durant says stoned buddies. We're not stoned yet. We yeah, haven't eaten any cookies. We're not even there yet, bro. <laughs> and plus, once you eat them, you still have to it wait. It takes like an hour. It's got to go in your stomach and then it has to be minutes. digested yeah. and then it's got to be in your bloodstream. It's not a, you know, a, a quick and dirty thing. Yeah. And this is kind of why, you know, personally, I prefer it because it's not one of these things where you just kind of have to keep topping it off. You figure out your dose mm -hmm. and your your sort of usage needs mm -hmm. for the day, and you put it in, and you go. 
Which on the side note, I don't know what else you're doing today. But what am I doing? Don't have weed in though. If you want to eat one of these, that's fine. If you don't want to get stoned before that's you fine. have to go home. No, no, that's, that's, that's fine. That's I'll a little side note. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I, now I'm like, what do I have to do the rest of the day? These are all things that I can oh, do. Russell all Durant resume. wants to know if I ever buy edibles or always make them. I always make them because I personally think that what I make is tastes better than a lot of the stuff that you get at a dispensary. It, they do. Um, I, it does. I love being able, when you make your own canvas butter or coconut oil, you can make almost any recipe with that. So I don't have to limit myself to just what is available at dispensaries. And what you buy at a dispensary is usually very, very strong. You can buy a cookie that has 100 right. milligrams. Right. Of THC in it, which is outrageous. Yeah. Uh, I love desserts. I love well. I love food in general. I want. I always want to eat food. <laughs> I'm always hungry. So if someone gave me this cookie and said, "This is a hundred milligrams cookie, so you can take a tenth of it." Right. Break it in half, then break that in half. Right. Maybe a quarter. What do you have? Twenty-five milligrams. No. Nah. I would be so upset. Yeah. Would it's a cookie? You want to eat a. Ah. Cookie. This is a tiny cookie. I'm gonna eat two of these cookies, guys. <laughs> well, this one broke in half, so I'm gonna. Yeah. Eat it. And plus, you know mm. what's going into the cookies. If you are mm. going to buy a, a product from a, a, someone else, what do you yeah. say? Russell says I want to try yours so bad. No, they're, they're very, very good. Plus, there's nothing else in them that you might not want in there, right? like xanthan gum. Yes. What is xanthan gum, y'all? I don't know. I think it comes from like a plant. No, it's a stabilizer. It's a, I know a it's preservative. A stabilizer, yeah. But where is the xanthan plant? I don't know. Why? Why are we not I chewing sticks of xanthan gum? I feel bad that this table's so dirty. Oh no, they don't see it. It was behind the thing. I know, but you see it. Yeah, but I'm cognizant of things on the yeah, stage, Lauren. Very, very good. That's what I'm saying. This is, I'm a professional. This is what You're I do. Professional. I know you really are. I'm you know? gonna leave these in for about another minute. They're already. Ooh. I'm just gonna rotate the tray. Ooh. Yeah, see, this is what that's what I'm saying. You gotta rotate the tray. I'll put it on different racks, but no, rotate the tray halfway through, yes. get it all nice and even. Because ovens don't don't heat evenly. They have no. hot spots. So no. it's always a good idea to rotate your tray so they wow. just get better. See, and now I got a reason for it yeah. as well. Look. This, this one okay, is my I'm friend, man. Distracted by the dog. Like I hang out Hi. with this person. Can she, I pick him up? Does he I like hope that? so. No, he's good. Hey, Coop, go on. Aww, he's like, I nah. He's afraid of he me. He like backed away. I know. Oh, Google, ain't nobody talking to you. Oh, Brazos is coming. Yeah, Brazos is coming. Somebody, like, boy. Can I sit in your lap? You can come hang out. That's your friend. That's your friend. That's so good. You're my baby. But yeah, like making sure you, when you make your own, you understand the dosage, you know, <gasps> ooh. There's the timer. How did I know? Another minute, huh? Mm. When you make your own, you know exactly what the cookie is comprised of. That's no. like if you're going to make your own homemade cookies or if you're going to go buy Chips Ahoy. What? Don't eat, don't go to the store and buy some Chips, chips Ahoy. Make your own cookies. And it will, it will it will sit in you better, and uh, they're made with love. Chips Ahoy is not made with love. Watch out, cause this is a hot tray. Chips Ahoy is made I'm with love. Show, can you guys see? I'm gonna have to pick up the camera. Mm. All right, watch out. Okay. <clears throat> Look, I almost picked that Don't thing out of my it. hands. Don't touch it. Is it very Yo. Hot? You got to zoom it in. Zoom in. Yo, these. Show the dog. Russell Durant wants to see the dog. What my dog? Sure. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here's a little close up. Come here, buddy. There you go. Look at those cookies. Come here, buddy. Does that look good or what? Come here, buddy. There you go. Oi. <gasps> look at it. Look oh, at hey, cool. cuties. There you go. There you go. Look at the cuties. Cool. There you go, buddy. Hey, Cooper. He's just kind of like, well, hey. whatever's Clevs. Hey. I'm going to do this now, then. There you go. Oh, cutie. <laughs> I'm talking to you too, Brazzy. Yeah, Braz, you cool. Brazzy you was so cute. Included. You was so Oops. cute, buddy. All right, we're but going you were back. not as um, portable as cool. He's not as portable. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show him this guy. That's right on B cam. I'm yeah, get, can, can we get a close on B cam, please? Oh, yeah. Can I just tell you that 
uh, you guys all out there uh, uh, watching, Lauren Gall is not only hilarious, she is uh, one of the most capable performers oh that I've um, sort of been around in LA. Oh. And that's why I hang out with her, because like I said, I don't hang with no slackers or ugly people. So in the- This is why I keep you around, because yeah. you always say such nice things You know what I'm saying? Me. So if I can't hang, I can't be an actor and then hang with other people who call themselves actors, but aren't very good. Lauren's very good. I just want to kiss. I just like, uh, I was taught not to do that, maybe. Like, really? Brad I mean, just loves kissing. He doesn't, he doesn't get anything from it. So oh. he's not trying to kiss me because, you know, I ain't kissing no dog. Oh. And then when my wife and stuff try to get that going, I'm like. I love the dog he kisses. <laughs> I love doggy kisses. I mean, they say like what a dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's, yeah, human's whatever. or like whatever that means. True. So, I mean, but have you, I mean, I'm just going to not even be funny there. I'm just going to let that be right there. Yes, you're cute too. You're you are cute, cute too, Brass. Oh, good yoga. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a good, a good downward you're, you're dog. You're so good. So you got to let the cookies He's cool. He's bagging. He's bagging. You got to let them cool. You have to let these cool. Uh, we're going to let these cool on the tray for a few minutes, and then you can transfer them to a cooling rack. You have a cooling rack? Of course. Duh. Of course you have a cooling rack. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can... Are you pulling out toys? Do I, do I need to get a cooling rack, Longo? You don't technically have to get a cooling rack uh, if you don't want to. At least, at the very least, I would take this sheet off of the baking sheet because the baking sheet is going to stay ah. hot. Man, I think I've said this at least three, four times in this cast already. This is why I hang out with you. Because I never thought about that myself. So, yeah, you take the cookies off of the sheet because right, the, the metal still hot. is still, the metal's still hot. hot. Yeah. And one of the great things about cooking bake. What up? This is the hard part about the live stream is that I always mess up what I'm trying to say. Eh. I can't speak English very well. Then apparently. we just go with it. I know. The, the great thing about a cooling rack is that it's open on the bottom, so air is circulating underneath. Oh, yeah. Which cools the underneath, especially for something like cupcakes or muffins. They can sweat inside the metal tin if you leave them inside there. That's why you should take them out after they're cool enough to handle. And cupcakes sweat? Cupcakes sweat underneath, like inside the tin, like underneath the cupcake, inside the metal tin. If you leave mm. it in there, mm. the, the moisture steam will accumulate underneath, oh, yeah. and so they'll sweat underneath the cupcake. Mm -mm, don't hand me no sweaty cupcakes. Right? This is super I fun baking fact. <laughs> I don't want no sweaty cupcakes. No one wants sweaty cupcakes, guys. Just put that on the record. Here you guys I'm the guy who there. wants some dry, not dry, but just, just not sweaty. Mm -hmm. How about that? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I want that's that's me. Don't give me no sweaty cupcakes. 2020. That is my platform. I'm running on. Right? <laughs> should we? I should we try cookies? Look, Which batch do you want? You want? Well, no. You want? I've never really had them with chocolate chips in them. Oh really? I'm gonna try me some fresh out the oven mm -hmm. with the most chocolate chips in them. Okay. And I'm just gonna do this here, here. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, that's soft. I just don't want you Ooh, to. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have to what? do stuff later. No, I'm fine. Later. It's fine. Please, please. Oh like I said, this is my first rodeo, too. Yeah. Like, and. Or Cooper wants cookie. That, no, I won't get my dog. I know. And that's, and that's how it goes when you make your own things. Mm -hmm. You know what the doses, dosages are. Right. So I know. Actually, it's, it's, I haven't made anything with this new batch of coconut oil that I made, so I don't know how strong it's going to be. Well. See so we're just gonna find out, right? <laughs> you know. But uh, these are su you're just going for it. I like oh. to like talk about it. Don't talk these about are it. super soft. Mm -hmm. uh, because I've never really experimented oh. with coconut flour, I didn't know what the texture was gonna be like. Mm -hmm. But it's very cookie like. Does that sound weird? No, no. Sometimes when you cook with not flour flour, yeah. the texture is all weird. It's strange and crumbly mm -hmm. and no, this is uh, just soft. Right? And um, it's less crispy than like a cookie would be. Cookies yeah. will crisp up more. This like stays pretty soft, which if you love a soft cookie, then there you go. That's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. And what do they, you think? How does it taste? This is delicious. Yeah. That's kind of why I'm like, oh yeah. I'm just talking right now. Because <laughs> they're tasty. They're tasty. And they're, they taste like a chocolate chip cookie, guys. They don't taste like coconut or anything weird. They don't taste like, I don't know. 
healthy cookies. They don't taste like health cookies. Right. They don't taste like um, gluten-free, paleo, sunshine. Right. They just taste like a chocolate chip cookie. It tastes like a cookie. Mm-hmm. And you know, like again, I have MS, so like gluten is inflammatory, mm-hmm. and I already have an inflammatory disease. So we try to quell as much right. inflammation slash do not put as much inflammation in. Uh-huh. So that's where a lot of that comes from. And having this is like, wait, I can still have that taste. Wait, I can still have that flavor and right. that sort of robust palate um, that. I you I'm accustomed to. I just have to be more mindful and make different choices. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. That's good, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've never had it with the chocolate chips in. I can't believe That's that. Good. I love chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. Yeah, I love chocolate chips. Mm. I love chocolate. I That's do. tasty. This is. Yeah. I think you have added to the reasons why I hang out with you long ago. Oh, <laughs> Stop. This is how awesome this person is. Because even before I knew she baked, I'm like, I have to be around her as much as I can, <laughs> slash as much as she will allow me to do. <laughs> and then it's like, oh no, I bake cookies too. Watch my channel. I'm like, no. well, friend, oh, no. I would be. We actually okay. like haven't hung out in a really long time, no. but I was thinking about so when Damien and I met, we met in acting class, and Damien. His YouTube channel right now, which is linked in the description section right now, is called No Stress MS. But it used to be called... Oh, Digital Ridiculous. Digital Ridiculous. And he used to do sketches and fun videos. Mm -hmm. And so he asked me to be on one of his videos, which is still available. Oh, yeah! Is it still available? (laughs) Where he wrote this rap. He wrote the whole thing, which is crazy. It was called Raise the Wage. Yeah, yeah. So you can go look it up. And you can see me rap in a video about raising the wage. Raising minimum wage. Yeah. And that that video got 20,000 plus views. That's awesome. And it, it was just one of these things that were out here at the time yeah. of California raising the minimum wage. Uh-huh. So I wanted to support that. Mm-hmm. And because I'm a performer and I do rather intricate videos, as you, if you go to the Seriously, channel and go see. check it out. Um, and you should go check out his channel now where he talks every week about his experiences with MS. Right. He does interviews and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I've got interviews. Yeah. I've got, hey, what's going on in the news, MS mm-hmm. News this week. I've got, hey, this is this new thing that I'm trying. I've got, oh, hey, I'm going to the infusion center to get my medication. Mm. Um, There's a whole bunch of different stuff. And no matter what, it's my silly self. So even though it's something as serious. He's very silly. Yeah, I'm pretty serious. (laughs) It's uh, silly. So it's something as um, as serious as, I don't know, multiple sclerosis Mm -hmm. on your brain and your spine. Mm -hmm. Um, Because it's happening to me, the silly guy, I'm always going to find some humor in it, not because I'm looking for it, just because it's who I am. Right. Right? So um, that's kind of why the channel has some success, because a lot of um, multiple sclerosis content is either by doctors who don't have MS, Mm -hmm. or the people who do have MS is like, I have MS. Right, right. And it does. Trust me. But I'm not going to set up my tripod and the lights and like do all this stuff to be like, Hey guys, this sucks. I'm not gonna do that. Good. I'm glad. Yeah, you don't do that. No, I don't do that, but I just make silly cooking videos. So. Yeah, but they're good and they're delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Usually, oh, man. Oh, no, I was just gonna say that I, well, I used to do recipe videos, but I was kind of getting burnt out with those and bored. No pun intended. So, ah! Ba-dum. So recently, I started doing these live streams with my friends, and I think ah. I don't really think that cooking and food should be shared. Yeah. And so I love having my friends come over to bake together and eat together and just hang out. And there's two people watching. One of them is us. So there's one other person Whoa. watching. Shout out to whoever that is. Shout right out in, other person. Right in the comments. Shout out other person. Respect, right? peace, and love. But it's really just. I don't know if I'm doing this backwards, but I feel like I'm enjoying it. So if you guys like it, then that's cool. But if not, I still got I had to have a friend come over and yeah. we got to bake cookies and eat yeah. them. Like I've really kind of really kind of really wanting been wanting to be hanging out with 
this person mm -hmm. in particular. I had a foot operation in December, yeah. so like I still have a medical boot on. Like I'm barely getting around. Um, He's getting around just fine. But I recently got started getting around. Like I was done for a few weeks. I didn't do anything but mm -hmm. sit on my couch with my foot up. Right. But as that sort of started to peel off, I'm like, who do I want to see? Aww. What who do I want to be around? And she's one of those people in there. And then she called me like, hey, you want to do this? Yeah. And I'm like, child was going to call you. I'm trying to hang out with you. <laughs> you. Shoot, I'm saying, like, I don't know you feel about like making YouTube videos that you get so wrapped up in how many subscribers do I have and how many likes do I have but the fact that you're making videos that you're really passionate about and I'm making videos that I'm passionate about yep. then you know that's all we can really control right that's all you can do and you make the best video that you can and have faith that um, you have something of value um, and mm -hmm. people are going to want to watch it mm -hmm. so whether that's 200 videos from now or 50 videos from now mm -hmm. um you're always striving to make a certain thing of a certain quality and mo a lot of people on my channel are like oh my god where have you been i'm like bro i've been here the whole time i know you just are uh meeting me right now um so it's just another thing that you make these things these videos and, and people happy. understand about your personality understand about uh, what makes you you and then mm -hmm. you put the you in the YouTube and people just want to see you Yeah, so respect respect. I'm gonna have me one of these without uh -huh. the jams Just so I can see what do. I mean you want to eat more than one cookie and that's how that's another as much as you want to bake your own cookies at home one of the major things one has to watch out for is that they're delicious. I know, it's so hard. Not so to try, right? try not to eat like three or four mm -hmm. over half of six mm -hmm. of them. Don't do that. Like have one or like a half of one. And well, they left us, it's just us. Oh, it's just us? It's just us now. Great. Well. But that's the thing, like when you're dealing with edibles, you have to just eat it and wait at least an hour maybe oh, yeah. two, to see how it affects you before eating more because it's very easy over there. that's a ride you can't get off yeah so you know i'm not gonna lie these these are okay kind of prefer the other ones these ones yeah it's the same recipe these I ones know. are a little more cooked than these still and these ones are also cold now those are like no. not fresh you know still oh Ooh. lord jesus no what a good puppy yeah no because a chocolate chip no that Got is it. like death to a dog thank you um, Thank you. I'm sorry. Excuse yeah, no worries. Mm. Oh, mm. someone's back. Mm. So we're only at 52 minutes. I usually like to at least round it out in an hour. So we're okay. still going to hang out for eight more minutes if you guys want to hang out with us. Mm -hmm. uh, whoever one person you are watching. <laughs> right? You know what's so funny? Okay, so last week, I um, Derek was helping me. We were trying to play with some of the camera settings to see if we could change the quality of the live stream. Right. So we actually accidentally went live and it was literally just like us staring at the computer <laughs> not even saying anything like clicking things and eight people were watching and commenting and then here we are with our live stream oh we have three people now but you know yeah like that nobody wants to watch us actually make and eat cookies and, and do talk to you um but you know <laughs> it is what it is guys right. If that's what you want to watch, it's just like me working on my computer. I can do that live right? too, right? <laughs> like, whatever, whatever, Mr. Cooper. Look, you you're doing you're doing all right, Long God. You've got the dogs in the audience oh. and uh, the love in the home, uh, Derek. And there's uh, there's love in the, in these walls. You. you guys, like, you step in and you're like, oh yeah, no, there's there's love in Aww. here. Okay. So How she's, cute she's, is she's this doing little well. pup? Yeah, no, this guy's the man. He's so distracting. He just looks like a little stuffed animal. This dog is an example of how I execute. I execute well. And that's not a haughty statement. It's like, no, I make sure I execute well. Yeah. So uh, this is my first dog. And when I wanted a dog, I've lived through my mom's cat. I've lived through my wife's two cats. Cat. So oh, that's great and everything, but I reserved my <gasps> right to not have an animal. Yeah. And when I wanted an animal, I wanted to get the best. He's the animal. best. 
And so it just turns out that this ridiculously cute thing so cute. Um, was the best. You're so cute. And so I'm like, well, Mwah. I'm going to have a cute dog now. Mwah. I'm going to execute on that because I go. want a dog. And he's just so sweet and well behaved. He's a chill guy. As you can say, he's Like seen. if I dropped a cookie in front of Brazos' face, he would so quickly just snap on it. Yeah, now Coop knows. Coop is like, well, he didn't say I could have it. So I'm just going to leave it right now. Oh, and then, you dog. know, half of the time I'm like, eh, you can have it. Oh. Or the other half of the time I'm like, hey, you know what it is. Leave it. Oh. And he's like, cool. I was already going to leave it, bro. Did you go to obedience training or did you train him yourself? Oh, yeah. We, we went to one two three obedience classes uh -huh. um like well, i've had him since he was nine weeks yeah, so uh, just not the, much bigger than my arm he was pup. a tiny thing so as soon as he could uh safely yeah. touch the ground oh. in public I, yeah once could, they get their vaccination yeah all the vaccines and stuff so once he was public ready then uh, we went to obedience classes every Sunday and You're all this so stuff. Good. So he knows all the stuff. Sit, yeah. stay. We're still working Can on this. Can you shake? Stay. No, well, the, the high five. Let's see if it happens. Hey, bud. Sit. I know you're there you sitting go. on dead. Well, he's my lap is not very yeah. much a seat. Well, let's see. High five. High five. High five. Come on. Do it this way. Yeah. Come. High five. High five. That's okay. Great. Cool. <laughs> cool. Is just like nah, bro. Chill. But oh, he, okay. you know, he sits, he stays, he yeah. high fives, he yeah. like he does all the stuff. Yeah. So right now, I'm trying to teach him to not bark when he hears things in the apartment building. Right. That's not fun. Right. Oh no, it's not. That's not fun for you. That's not fun for everybody around you. Ugh, so You're that's being protective. Yeah. I don't care what the dog reason is. Yeah. That's not my reason. This is right. my house. Francis will bark at noises outside yeah. or if like the doorbell rings. Yeah, right. Yeah. The buzzer, like when the yeah. UPS they guy or the mail is, guy yeah. comes, freaks out. Right. This cool, calm puppy starts, he starts quivering and shaking. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, there's an intruder. These cookies are delicious. You want another one? <laughs> They're delicious. I'm going, yeah, this is me taking the nut. Um, we batch. have two batches, guys. This one has cannabis. This one does not. That's why we keep eating these because yeah. we don't want to overdo it. Nah, I don't want to overdo it. And then I pass out on the couch, and then Derek come home and be like, "Who's this dude? Pass out on the couch?" Yeah, right. And just be like, "Yo, you ain't never met me before, D, but I'm the you other." You guys have met, haven't you? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I thought you guys have met. I don't know. I also one of my other friends is coming over too. Oh. Just to hang out. Yeah. Yay! My friend Catherine, we made gingerbread cookies on the channel. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Was she just coming to hang out, not to bake? Yeah, she's just coming to hang out. Yeah, man. Because she was going to be kind of nearby. And, uh, mm. so she was going to come hang out. So it's a whole party then. I'm yeah, why not? Out. Why yeah. not? But it's Friday. It's Friday. Right? It's Friday. It's the end of the day. Mwah. So I hope you. No, don't give me. What are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. I hope you have accomplished all that you are going to accomplish with the day. Uh, because this was the day, I guess. The day's over now. The day is over. We're not over, it's but it's only three thirty. But the sun is starting to go. I to know bed. that it sets so soon now that once the sun goes down, I'm like the day's over. But then in the winter time, when the sun sets at four thirty, I didn't get anything done. Right. <laughs> and you get everything done between four thirty and six. I know. <laughs> I like. I work at night. I think that I work better at night than mm. during the daytime. I work in better the in the morning. Mm. So, because of MS, mm -hmm. I have a regular meditation habit. And I meditate for about an hour. Mm -hmm. so, That's a long time. A long time. It, again, it's another one of these things. Good. I meditate for like five minutes. <laughs> Legitimately, just five minutes. It's another thing to help symptoms. And my balance is better. My knees are better. This is um, a bit less testy, yeah. so to speak, because a mess will kind of put its thumb on you and make you more testy. Mm. But if I sat from 5.30 to 6.30, mm -hmm. then at 2.30, when something is not going right, I'm like... Like 5.30 to 6.30 in the morning? Yeah. How? What time do you wake up? Look, disease will make you change your life. Mm. So... 
Um, I, I go to bed earlier. I go to bed around between 10 and 11. Okay. And I wake up around 5. Okay. So I wake up at 5 to be, you know, teeth brushed, yeah. water drank, all vitamins taken, all that stuff by 5.30. Mm -hmm. So from 5.30 to 6.30 every day, I'm uh, sitting there with my eyes closed and just releasing thoughts and mm -hmm. just letting them go mm -hmm. and, you know, ad nauseum for, I don't know, about 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, and it definitely makes me a more calm person yeah. um, and more likely to deal with the waves on the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, why did I bring up my meditation again? Are, so we were just talking about waking up in the morning and it, it was oh, a, being healthy and... The seed of cookies that no, were that you that, No, we were talking about how you work better in the morning. Right, so this morning... Fun. I woke up um, and I didn't meditate. I didn't sit like I normally do. I woke up. And it really affected you? Well, yeah. It's di I feel different now because I didn't sit. Wow. I woke up and worked. Okay. So I woke up, worked from five to seven. Okay. Dropped my wife off, worked from, you know, uh, was 7.30s, about eight. So worked from eight to like 9.30. And then I'm like, oh, it's 9.30. The rest of the world is awake yeah. now. So I'm going to go on that audition. I'm going to go to Lauren's house. Mm -hmm. um, but getting up at that early um, hour, over time, I'm like, well, at the very least, I'll get more stuff done. Yeah. At the very least, like, if a multiple sclerosis fatigue comes for me at, like, 1 mm -hmm. in the afternoon, I've already been up and yeah, really worked yeah. to do at least something. If not everything that I want to do, yeah, something. That's all we can ask for. That's it. That's it. And that's all. Mm -hmm. And it's working out so far. Um, my wife thinks that I go to bed way too early. <laughs> um, but I'm always falling asleep on the couch anyway. So there you go. Yeah. There you go. Well, guys, we made it to our one hour stream. Nobody is watching. Well, now. But uh, this gets I know we up. weren't doing anything except hanging and. Look at this, this cute pup. Can you see it? You can't see his little face there. Well, he's hanging out now. So there, there, we go. Like there, we go. there we go. There we go. There we go. Yup. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in and watching our live stream today. We made coconut flour chocolate chip cookies, and I have the recipe, the written recipe linked in the description section on my website. And usually what I do is I cut this down into a shortened version and post that in a separate video, but we, I'm gonna figure that out because I had some camera issues, so I don't know if that's gonna end up being true. But, Thank you again for watching, and thank you for my friend Damien, and also Mr. Cooper for coming to hang out with me and bake cookies with me. Absolutely. And, you know, guys, if you want to subscribe and leave a comment, you know, maybe even, like, check out my Patreon page, that'd be pretty cool. Look, I'm happy to have been here. I'm happy to see you, friend. Thank you for having mm -hmm. me here. Thank y'all for showing up and chatting and subscribing and being engaged in this community that Lauren is making and respect and respect and thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Right. See that, you guys. Yeah. And we're done. Later. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. bye. bye.